the thing is, like, innovation was an addition. I don't know how much he was informed about Polygon Invitational and, and, and how we do things here. So, uh, you know, there's a good chance that when we go up to him later on, like, hey, congratulations on your win. You ready for winner's victory? And innovation's like, huh? I wasn't informed of this. And then, like, we, like, cut over to, like, his webcam, and innovation's, like, shirtless, right? And he's, like, eating, like, a sandwich, and he's just like, uh, okay, I guess we'll just... I guess we'll just uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, this interview. Can I put some clothes on? And we'll just be like, no. Like, that's sexy as hell. Keep your shirt off. The viewers want this. Okay, then. Now that we are in game <laughs> on Honor Grabs LE, let's introduce our players. <laughs> Spawning in the top right-hand corner of Honor Grabs LE, it is our Red Zerg. The current underdog in this matchup, he is Sue. And his opponent, he is he is currently playing shirtless. It is the machine innovation. And I, mean, I uh, feel like if he took off his shirt, it would just reveal all of his like robotic underlays, though. No, right, like all that muscle that he toned. There, right? Like I, I, I don't know if you know this really, but there's body thread and like. It's the most awkward thread in the world slash like oh the best God. thread ever. We we just like post pictures of pro gamers' bodies and just drool over them. It's such that a weird thread. Sexy as well. Yeah, but I mean like Zest is, has been on there, Nada has been on there. These amazing, incredible, like built players. And who knows? Innovation may be one of them. Innovation maybe. Who knows? Anyways, Honor Grounds Ellie. Now, Honor Grounds, I've heard a lot of things about this map. I've heard it's Zerg sided. I've heard it's a piece of shit map. What are your thoughts on it? <laughs> oh, God. Only I could tell you that what you're true. If only I could tell you that. All right, let's go ahead and talk about Honor Grounds here for a bit. First off, the ramp to, into the main base is very big. You can't wall off with just two supplies and a big building, you have to build another Yeah, So that's a little bit annoying for Terran players to have to deal with. Additionally, the bases are just so close to each other that it's just so easy for Zer to macro up and just get a very scary army out. And then you have all these gold bases near you. They're so easily destroyed, even though they're covered by rocks so you can't expand right away. You can take care of those rocks very easily and then Instantly, you have a gold base at your disposal, and it's just so easy to get out of very, very strong, powerful late game economy. And then, with the map being on our grounds, and especially because they're cross distance right now, cross spawn, the the travel and rush distance that innovation has to go through is so long to get to Sue Evolution that it's complete. going to be very difficult for Sue. This is why I've noticed that players do tend to opt to go mech on this map just because it's so easy to grab third bases, fourth bases, and even a fifth base, because they're just right next to each other. This is why I've noticed that Terran players like to go for mech. It's very easy to keep the bases protected, and because you have to travel so long anyways, it's good to go to mech on comes in and get surrounded. Now, Innovation going for these Hellions up in the main base of Stu. Gonna run on in, gonna try and rope does get a whopping five of them. Drones actually having to be pulled off the line to deal with this attack. Eight in total go down. So well done by Innovation, and he is also building Cloak Banshees on top of this. Okay, so we're seeing the exact same build. He's going up to three CCs, he's going up to three Barracks, he's got Stim on the way, he's got Cloak Banshee coming in so that he can kill drones. Felipe, are we gonna see 14 drone kills again? I mean... Who knows, it's innovation. We could see 14 drone kills. We could see like 100 drone kills. And I don't even know how that's possible because Sue only has 40 drones right yeah, now. I, but innovation can do it. Innovation. But I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, if Sue loses, he may want to take... He, he may message us and be like, hey guys, I, I need to take a break. That game just crushed my soul. <laughs> Now, we do see this Banshee come in here, only does get two drone kills for now, and with an Overseer and four Crawlers on the way, Sue is more than ready to take this guy out. 
Yeah, now remember, we have seen Innovation do this build before. A little thing that he's doing differently, though, get a meta back. Okay. We saw him do a, a, a Banshee harass on Abyssal Reef and then also do a, a medevac drop with four Hellions to get more clones. But we're not seeing that from an. Oh, wait, hold on. Am I missing that? The Bunny's game? Did Bunny do that? I don't remember anymore. <laughs> It all just blurs. Yeah, no, it's it's been a it's been a long. Very happy you're still here with me, but pretty soon we're gonna be delirious. We're gonna be like tired, and we're gonna be like talking about like, hey Felipe, what do you think about this mothership being made right now? And we're gonna be. Like, I mean, Dude. yeah, Beyond's making this uh this mothership. Yeah, I know, right? Beyond's making this. Getting ready to manor mule him. Like it's not even like this. It's not even like the right players or the right race, and we're just like, and then like people on the Twitch chat, they're like, okay, well these guys are clearly done for. They're not even with us anymore. Oh god! Now we see these banshees just kind of hovering around Sue's base, gonna not poke in just yet. Sue uh, and Innovation are ju have just both been going for just about the same strategy every single game here. Yeah, and the thing about this strategy on this map is that it's just it's very easy for Zerg to run around their bases and protect themselves from drops. Like, here we go, Innovation's gonna go for a drop, and it's very easy for him to run his things in here and then drop his attack off. But this attack is going to get a little bit done at the very least, that Spore Crawler is going to go down as well as pull off Seb, or kill Seb in drone, and pull off uh, them from that mineral line. Them actually almost going back in but are gonna get chased off again did he really get this hatchery oh my god just 60 green moving in here almost getting that hatchery not quite though the mutalists are here zerglings are here queens are here everything going into fighting off this drop yeah i assure you felipe the hatchery wasn't going to more than enough energy uh sue would have made a very big blunder if he had allowed that to die now innovation with that 16 marine drop he he had a he had a he had a very good timing Sue had droned up so heavily that he just didn't have enough army to take care of that drop initially he definitely could have lost that hatchery but he responded just in the nick of time to get himself uh get himself into this game without losing a hatchery to start off with now we do see laking army coming in now from both players, we see Innovation going up to 8 Barracks, which is exactly what you're supposed to do. Getting out his Metavax, getting out his Widow Mines, we're going to see that army position, the same thing we saw in Newkirk Precinct. The only difference here right now is that Sue is in a very good position. He didn't get his 4th base cancelled this time. Innovation cancelled 4th base twice on Newkirk. He didn't did that. This did not happen. And this is what I was talking about. The rush distance is just so long for Innovation. He has to travel a very long distance to get to Sue's bases and try to cancel and do a pipe pressure. While Sue, you can see his creep spread, is is connecting all of his bases and he's getting ready to to, to make pathways for himself. So innovation, he's going to be in, in for uh, some serious work here. He's going to have to work a lot more than he did on Newkirk. It's going to be a much harder game. And I'm going to be honest with you, I can see Sue taking this if innovation can't close it out before the 15 minute mark now at that 15 minute mark sue will probably have already gotten ultras out he will have gotten tightness plating all of that good stuff that we saw last week except that like you said innovation just isn't in as good a position to attack him now speaking of attack sue is going for an attack down here at innovation space killing off five scvs and a few marines and marauders to boot Mutalists and Zergling flying in there. Now, meanwhile, up in the top, Innovation is trying to drop Sue, but Sue is also right on top of that. But no, he does finally get a good location. Mainly rolling in are going to take out a good chunk of those Marines, but they got an even trade. Eight, now nine drones in uh, for Innovation. Now ten drones in seven drones as opposed to Sue making up. I did say that innovation. This 10 minute mark is exactly when innovation should have hit. And, and Sue just wasn't able to prevent that drop from doing damage. And now innovation is sending reinforcements after one after another. Uh, it does seem like we're going to see a GG. We're going to see 
in a lot of trouble, lost the base, and dropping down to less than 100 supply. And with these mutilists getting just taken out by these, we don't mind by these reinforcements, innovation is indeed going to take this game.